ain't been switch. broke in a minute. Nah, nah, I tryna run these digits. Nah, nah, Put my little bro on the pin. Nah, nah, we hop out the car with extensions. Nah, nah, these niggas be pistols, they switchin'. Nah, 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 Playin' with bro, then you go on the mission. Me and my niggas, we all on the mission. Focus on money, ain't worry about bitches. Yo, what's going on, y'all? It's your boy, Vel, and we are back with some very big news. So, right now, Cloud9's former EXP laner is going to be talking about how he's lost his side income now that the team has disbanded. So, sadly, it is officially confirmed that the team did disband after what happened against BTK. <laughs> People are calling Zane the Orc Killer. And, yeah, it, it's, it's just a lot of crazy stuff going on right now. But, sadly, his side income is gone, his passive income and then we're going to be going over Doggy trying to decide if it's worth it to pay $75 million to for a slot in, in the um, MPL or, or yeah. So, yeah, we're going to be going into all of that. So, yeah, that being said, y'all, be sure to drop that thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on notifications, and let's jump into it. Let's see what um, Milo has to say. <laughs> Zane is the org killer. Sorry for your loss. Jeez, I didn't play so. Are you still the goat or you fell off? What the fuck? What even is that question? That's crazy. Rip C9, yep. Rip, rip, rip. My passive income, guys, it's gone. Fuck. Change team, nah. Yeah, maybe next season. I could, I could play now. I'm free, guys. I'm officially free. Did C9 pay you? They did for the few months that I did. Help Iko get a job. <coughs> you guys are demonic, man. Jeez. Chill. That make your crazy. own team yellow. That I might, yeah. Oh, he might Kala make his own team. Na. Meron na nga. Sayang lang yung passive income. Obviously, side, ano? side income. I get paid more in my new job, but it's still a waste. Like, I could make like free money. I could buy a whole new car with the contract that I just lost. Mm. Same yellow as goat and nuts. That's not even a sentence. That's crazy. He said he could buy a car with the income he just lost. So that's crazy. That's sad. I mean, hey, getting free money enough to buy a car. I mean, nobody's mad at free money. So yeah, hey, that that's kind of messed up, but. That's what happens when your team, like, listen, this is why you shouldn't be trash talking and then get reverse, reverse sweep that freaking hard. Like, it's, come on now. Like, if they would, if that wouldn't have happened the way it happened, they probably wouldn't have got disbanded like that. Like, if it was a close game, if it wasn't just such a joke, like, it was a close game, but it was a joke game because it wasn't really a close game. They won three matches and then lost four in a row. Like, that's what made it not close. Like, <laughs> If it was like a back to back to back to back and then they lost, they might still be here, I, I think. They might still be here, but because it was the reverse sweep of this magnitude, the worst thing that's happened in Mobile Legends history damn near, yeah, it's like you got to let go of that team. Stop being a mid in other team. Make your own team. First of all, I was completely AFK for two months. <laughs> What do you think of Nat's performance in NACT? I didn't watch the whole thing, guys. I can't really comment on it. <laughs> Nat's back to RSG? No. The first, um, the reason he moved to the US is to live here anyway. C9 disband true? Yep, it is true. As of now, we we got paid our final paycheck. Yeah, so they got paid their final paycheck. At least they got paid, you know, at least they got paid for their work. Um, I mean, regardless of how, how shitty of a job that last work was, but yo, hey, it'd it be like that. But yeah, that being said, let's jump into um what Doggy is saying about if he's gonna end up buying a slot for the team. That's right. Yeah, All right, so King Retribution. Bigyan na yan ng trophy, itong batang to. Tapos jacket, tapos tatlong kilo ng bigas. Tapos tatlong ano, century tuna. Bigyan na yan. Magaling, magaling to si Kelra, aka the baby ama. Grabe. Kailangan na to ng trophy na ito, MPL. 
He needs the trophy, huh? Pero we're in top, guys. Eto. Magka, magka ano tayo dito? Oi. Magka ano tayo? Prangkahan lang tayo dito, guys. Magka prangkahan lang tayo dito. Keller just really wants to be. Ah, sa sabiin ko na sa inyo. Sa sa inyo lang to magiginig, ah. Sa inyo lang to magiginig, guys. Ang islat ngayon na MPL is 75 million to 100 million. Okay. Sabi natin makadali tayo na 75 million. Tapos gastusin nun, sabi natin 20 million in three years. So di bali 95 million ang gagastusin natin pesos. Okay. Tingin nyo ba worth it yun? Tingin nyo ba worth it yun? Um, he said, do you think it's worth it? <clears throat> 75 million. So I think 75 million in pesos, somebody told me was like, um, it was like 400,000 or something like that. Or is it, um, if it was, if that's like 400,000, 500,000, is it worth it in Mobile Legends? Um, it depends because the thing is, you'll probably, it's all about how you move with your team. Now, if you had a team like the Call of Duty days, um where they had sponsors the sponsors was paying then the nade shots team was actually champion so they was winning the actual prize money from these events then on top of that they were all vlogging and making content and stuff like that you easily make that money back however if you're not going to be if you're just going to be playing the game and you're just going to be competing it's probably not worth it but and it seems like a lot of people from the Philippines and from Asia as a whole don't actually move like some of the North American people who are more business focused actually move when it comes down to, to com the competitive scene. When you're a pro, you're respected. Everything that you says is respected. So if you interview your players a lot and put it on a team YouTube channel, you make that money back. If you vlog your team going out playing basketball, going out doing all these different things. If you all can consistently do things, like maybe you play Mobile Legends for six hours, you all go out and film, and then come back and play for another three hours, and then you you like have a, have a quick interview or something like that, boom, you're making tons of money every single day. So it starts to make a lot of sense because having that slot is actually worth something. But if you're gonna buy that slot and just play the game, It, everything pays so little that it's probably not going to add up. But if you buy that slot and then put in the work, you easily make that back. So I, I think that that would be a um, that would be a great investment if you ask me personally. But you have to you have to be business minded and make make that a great investment. If you just want to throw around money and then do nothing and hope that your team wins, if your team wins, you know it, it's probably going to be worth it. But If they don't, then you just wasted your money. So, yeah, that's what it comes down to. Are you going to put in the work and make it work, win or lose? Because you can make it work, win or lose, but you got to be working. And your team has to be people who are going to work. That's just what it comes down to. A bygone era, a very long time. She was like... Tingin nyo ba worth it yun? Yeah. Men, kasi nakakatakot ba hindi mag-RO? Ay eh. Hey. Pero guys, toto, gusto ko malaman. Tingin nyo ba worth it yun? Ay, hindi nyo tinatanong kay Rene J, guys. Ay, hindi nyo tinatanong kay Rene J. Ito, usapan namin ni Rene J. Kaya makita nyo. Kaya ano lang. Yeah, if it's gonna work, it's just a... If you're gonna get an RRI, it's just business-minded. I think so many people in the Mobile Legends community, it's just all about competing it's more than that it's, it takes more than that to get a return on your investment in something like mobile legends but with the status that doggy is at and the um basically basically there's no way he doesn't get a return on his money if he understands the business side no way at all it's impossible to lose money if he knows what he's doing But the question is, does he know? <laughs> like that That's really what it comes down to. Do you know how to move and operate? Like I said, you can't just play the game. Study the greats that's come before you, and you'll have no problem making money in Mobile Legends. Just study the greats. As a pro, anyway. As a pro, y'all got a cheat code, and it's easy. It's easy to make money as a pro in Mobile Legends. So easy. Now, I'm saying, oh. Randy J, thinking more about 
Magkano ba isla? 75 to 100M. Tapos mga pasahod pa, pati BC, tayo na palabas talaga. Sabihin na natin, 125 isang taon ang gastos. Oh, masakit na. Wag na boss D. Ano yun, men? Guys. Di ko alam. Oo, di ko alam. Tingin nyo. Tingin nyo. Hindi dahil sa mayaman, dapat profitable ang business. Tingin nyo. Hindi dahil sa mayaman, Not because it's rich, it should Dapat be a profitable, profitable business. business. But one thing for sure is, I'm sure he has more Dapat maniacs profitable than business. Business must be profitable. Businesses don't just be be profitable. You have to make them profitable. <laughs> that's what it that's what it means to be in business. You have to be a businessman and move like a businessman. Like you have to, you're what makes a business profitable. That's what's going to determine if your business makes money or not. It has nothing to do. With anything, this is why they're charging so much. You all not knowing what to do after you buy a slot, that's your own personal problem. Mo Mobile Legends is going to get paid regardless. So it's up to the business owners to figure out how to turn a profit with the with the people in their um, organization. Tandaan nyo guys, okay magsigal, don't do it at home. Do it outside your home. <laughs> Iba talaga. Le, pero tingin nyo guys, joke aside, joke aside. Tingin nyo guys, worth it ba? Bumili na MPL slot. Ay, hirap guys. Uy, gago King Kong with the panic. Kagad, man. Hindi worth it. Hindi ko alam guys. Naguguluan ako. Gusto ko talagang bumili ng slot, man. Gusto ko talagang bumili ng slot. Pero... Business is business, man. Business is business. Tandaan nyo. Mag... Man, mag... Man, sino mag... Man, kahit si Manny Pacquiao, pag sinabing 75 million, di nun sasabihin, ay, mura. Mura lang. Man, mahal yun, man. Sabihin, ay, mura. Mura. Man, kahit si Manny Pacquiao, pag sinabing 75 million, di nun sasabihin, ay, mura. Mura lang. Man, mahal yun, man. Okay, um, is that a hundred, did I do that right? Uh, million, a hundred million, so if it's a hundred million, um, pesos, the Filipino peso, that, if, if I did that right, that's still 1.7 million dollars, that is crazy, actually. I didn't know that was that expensive, like, cause that, that is very expensive. Now, I thought it was just 500k, <laughs> now, if it's 1.7 million, I don't know if you get that back, like, <laughs> even if you have a good business, like, it's like you would have to do really good business. You would have to be in partnerships with the other teams. Y'all would have to really, it would have to be a movement. And and at the point where you're doing, like, as an organization, what I would do, I would have to expand outside of just, you know, the normal Mobile Legends stuff. I would have to, as far as the competitive scene, the competitive would have to just be part of it. You would have to expand and get a content team as well. So the content team could help make that decision make sense as well. So it's like you would have to really start a whole business around this. For this type of money, you can't just rely on... Yeah, you can't just rely on that. Yeah, I, I wouldn't just rely on the pro, the pro scene for that in Mobile Legends personally. Like now nah, with this type of investment, nope. You know, you would have to really do what you're doing. Do some good business. Make some good business moves. They're getting ready to just... 75M. Because that's the huge. On the side. It feels so deadly. EXP lane. Hindi ko alam. Hindi ko alam, man. Ako nagugula na ako, man. Tingin ko talaga hindi worth it, eh. Show later for Kirk is a very wide hero pool. Magang piling ko, 75M. Putang inan, laki ng tol. But doggy, still, still doggy, bro. Doggy is like massive. <clears throat> he's doggy and he's he's a massive um he's a massive face in Mobile Legends and also he has ties to every massive face from the Philippines. They all could come together like imagine if he had a vlog with his team going to visit Kyrie. Then but and that's what I'm saying. Like the problem is while y'all doing all this stuff that y'all got to do to make quality content, that's going to take away from the time your team could be playing and focused and all this other stuff. So it's going to take their mind off of winning a little bit because they have to run up and make money in other ways. Unless you get a content creation team that's just as popular as the pros and the content creation team 
actually is the ones going, making the moves, getting the brand even bigger and known and stuff like that, similar to what FaZe did. FaZe had the montages and, and, and stuff like that. They had the montages, but they also had the pro team. And kind of like the montage content creation vlog side of things is what paid for the pro side of things. So you could kind of take that route if it's like if it's this expensive. That's that's what I would do in that case. And you all know Phase is still very very successful. So, yeah. It's impossible to ban out anyone from F I mean, kaya ko afford guys, afford kaya natin. Kaso puta pinag-ipunan ko yon ng greed is good. Wink wink if you're no one. Nine years. Nine years kung pinag-ipunan. Grabe men, no? So it could be a CC or... Tapos pagka hindi nag-profit, putang ina, yung nine years mo, lug mo. Alright. Ayun lang yun, guys. Kayo na mag-decide, men. Gusto ko talaga, men. Gustong gusto ko. Hilig ko kasi itong mobile legend, men, eh. Lagi kong kinakausap si AJ, baby. Tingin mo, gusto ko talaga. Gusto kong gustong gusto ko. Kaso, kaya sabi ko kay AJ, Hindi ko alam paano ko gagawin profitable business to. He doesn't know how to make it a profitable business. I like the um I like the transparency he's showing here. Um but making it a profitable business just talk to a business person, man. Um more than likely I would I would recommend to reach out to some to reach out to some some people in like America, bro. Like you're a massive person. So if you reach out to like your nade shot Reach out to members of FaZe. It's like, I feel like you could probably get in contact with some of these guys who's also just as famous as you are. So, um, yeah, you could get some wisdom. Like, Optic Hex is a great businessman. Like, get get the inside scoop and, and you know, information from, from people who are in the industry. Make, make some connections, you know? Like, use your star power to actually make connections and figure out how these organizations did it. Cause there was a point in time when Call of Duty wasn't profitable for the pros. And Nate Shot, I think, is what turned that around. Like Optic, that like they were the ones who turned that around and start showing people that you can make a lot of money in this. So yeah, I think that Mobile Legends is at that point where some team has to do it. Somebody has to do it. So if you got the capital to put up and do it, um, in America, I don't think anyone puts up that capital. Like, I believe you get sponsored and stuff like that, and they'll put up the capital for you. I, I, will, I don't think anyone would do that out of pocket, personally. Um, I'm, I don't believe that they would, but we have a lot of opportunities in America also. So, like, it's, America is the king of debt. <laughs> so, yeah, no one's just putting up $1.7 out of pocket like that. But, yeah. Just fan me in a long time. Hello, Gusto ko ang kausapin si Boss Trike eh. Si Boss Trike ng ano, Blacklist. Gusto kong tanongin opinion niya eh. Kung profitable ba talaga? Alam mo yun? I think profitable sa mga top 4 na teams. Hindi, top, yung champion pati yung ano, runner-up. Hindi, di naman profitable, I think magigay ng konti. So, mga guys, promise gustong gusto ko, men. Gustong gusto ko, like legit, gustong gustong gusto ko bumili na islat pero putang ina, bigyan nyo ako ng reason para bumili. Promise, bigyan nyo ako ng reason. Nine years kong pinag-ipunan pagka bumili tayo tapos napunta sa wala, men. Hindi kayo yung hihirap ako. Ayun yung problema eh. Oh, okay, tingnan natin yung pick dito. So that's fair. He said he spent nine years saving up that money. And if the organization failed, he would be the only one hurt by it. No one else would be hurt. The players could just find a new organization. You know, the, the fans would be like, oh, that sucks. It's so sad. But he's out of the 75 million. Uh, so, yeah, it's like... I definitely get where he's coming from. Um, I would not talk to people in the Mobile Legends scene, personally. I, I would, If you want to make that work with these type of prices, I would expand to the businesses outside of Mobile Legends who's doing it right. There's been organizations who's done it right. If you look at uh, TSM and how TSM, Daquan, and, and all the Fortnite guys came out and they, they were super popular and competitive and stuff like that as well. And <clears throat> think about at the time, TSM was making more money 
than all the the pro organizations and stuff like that. They weren't even competing. They was just playing. They was a strong pro caliber team playing the game casually, and that still built enough hype so they could make all that money from it. Daquan has retired for life off of it. <clears throat> so, yeah. It's like you really have to, you can do good business. It's, it's okay to do good business. It's possible to do good business. But the thing is, you have to know, have a plan going into it. You definitely got to have a plan going into it. So let me know what you all think in the comment section down below. Um, ho Hopefully, it's, it seems like the entire Mobile Legends Pro scene is kind of lost when it comes down to the business side of things. And the business side, is it's, it's actually not, it's not that hard. It's definitely not that hard, but a lot of, I know the Mobile Legends scene is still young and it's still new when it comes down to this competitive thing. So, yeah, it'll get better. Um, I, I would tell them, like, you also tell Doggy to reach out to some pros like FaZe and Optic and stuff like that. Look out, reach out to their CEOs. FaZe, they, they should talk to FaZe Temper. Optic, they should talk to Optic Hex or Nade Shot. Um, and, yeah, they could he could easily, if he makes those contacts, they could easily tell them exactly how they did it. But, um, yeah, that being said, let me know what you all think. Be sure to drop that thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on notifications, and I'll catch y'all on the next one. Peace out, fam.